Hello, welcome to Frank's School, uh, 124th day. I'm going on with Burke, uh, James Burke's The Day the Universe Changed. I'm now moving into episode 6, Credit Where It's Due. Uh, I don't think I have to say that much. I mean, at this point, it's pretty easy to follow, and, and by now you've gotten used to his ways. He starts in the Caribbean on a cruise liner. From there he goes to England, from there to Holland, and back to England. Uh, that's his geographic jumps. I, th I think that's pretty much all of them. Um, for, for what I'm asking you to watch up to, up to that point. Uh, he's dealing here with the beginnings of the Industrial Revolution how, and how important England was. Uh, England became such a powerhouse in the Industrial Revolution. It's interesting how Spain and Portugal ended up fading and England came on strong. But that's kind of another matter and he doesn't really deal with that, but he does deal with England. Uh, slavery and the importance of the sugar cane, <laughs> that brought so much wealth into England. What do you do with the wealth? And, uh, and uh, here we have that. Well, that's the Dutch connection. He'll teach it. I, I, don't, I don't think I need to explain it. I, I want to point out that he talks about modern farming, uh, what, what it has been become. I mean, that change over, he doesn't mention Jethro Tull, but, but he's a pretty big name related to that. He mentions water meadows. Boy, boy my, I, I, my heart leaped when I heard that, because water meadows uh, was, was one of the phrases that, I mean, it's one of the reasons I got so interested in gravity irrigation and water flow, with, which again, if you followed me or you know me, <laughs> That's so big a part of my life. Anyway, uh, the first time I ran into water meadows was in this book, bought for me uh, by my mother. Uh, she, in a way, in, in many ways, uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, no, no, not, not from, by my mother. Rather, friends of mine in, in 1974, they knew I'd like it. And uh, m Mom bought me something else I, I could have showed you. But, but there's a section on water meadows. I had never heard of it before, and I was so fascinated to read that. Uh, it doesn't exist really in the United States. Uh, not really. The one other thing I could make as a connection there is uh, in uh, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's Evangeline. At one point he describes the agricultural technique of the uh, uh, people from Normandy uh, as letting their fields flood periodically. Uh, well, anyway, uh, crop rotation, uh, the, the plant turnips, the plant clover, tea, and it becomes major, and of course sugar uh, is, you know, you, it seems to be, the, you could almost say it's what brought on the Industrial Revolution. Interesting that sugar, I don't like it, <laughs> and I find myself so lucky in a way. I mean, before that, before sugar came, I think I, I explained about this later, uh, uh, sugar beets and, and malt and honey, that was about all the sweeteners people had. The song that you're going to hear when he says this ditty is Rule Britannia, uh, that's where he's talking about how the English got even better at it than the Dutch. Um, he uses the term conspicuous consumption as he shows how so, so many English got so rich, and what do they do with all their money? That conspicuous consumption, I almost used it the other day when I was talking about uh, the Winter Olympics and what Russia has done uh, with that torch and everything. Conspicuous consumption of energy. Uh, he mentions John Locke, uh, well, and, and Hume and Rousseau. He doesn't mention them, but these are ones that I had to read in college uh, you know, it was it was kind of hard hard course. My heart wasn't really in that, as I recall, or it was it was a weighty uh, business for me. When it comes to the dissenters, at that point, I would say stop. That's a good place to stop. Uh, and I would also say notice in the background uh, the thatch uh, at one point, and especially the fencing. Uh, to see people actually making that fencing, that woven fencing, I kind of like that. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to come back today because I'm doing two videos now. The second one I'm going to go on with, uh, which is uh, or, um, uh, the Decentralist Manifesto. Hope to see you back. Bye for now.